All right, Dave Gardner with Magnetic Sponsors. Dave Gardner at MagneticSponsors.com if you need to get a question uh, in there or get it answered. Our next thing is uh, quickly going to be adding your autoresponder. This is the main thing and main issue that a lot of people are having uh, issues with. Um, you want to be able to capture leads so that you can then promote products to them and you can keep in touch with what you're doing and show people that it works and then uh, you know maybe even make uh, your business grow as well. So you're going to scroll down to the business marketing tools and you're going to click on autoresponder. And what you need to do is set up one. I, I actually have a bunch of websites going on. Um, and what you're going to do first, you're going to do uh, add a campaign. And basically you're going to fill in whatever name you want. Maybe if you want to give a background description, not necessary. Uh, from right here, you might want to change to who it's from. So we're going to kind of walk through. I'm going to do, this is the $2 secret. And uh, I'm just going to leave this blank right now. And we're, we're going to put that it's from Dave Gardner. And you can put... Uh, you know your name if you want to put two dollar secrets whatever you want the notification mail notice my uh, email was already generated there that was basically the email that's associated with this account I'm gonna put that on my notification email um, that's so that it can send me to excuse me send emails to me because I'm gonna click the notify about the sender down here excuse me new subscriber down here so if I get a new subscriber it's gonna send it to this email address and it's gonna it's gonna come from Joel Terrian so if we take a quick look here uh, at our inbox. Notice right here it says Joel Terrian. There's three. It says a new magnetic subscriber has just opted in. Uh, if I scroll down a little bit here, uh, notice I got a new you, Your Review Guru, uh, new Camellus Ads. So I have all different people subscribing in uh, from different websites uh, that I have running. They're on different campaigns. The from email is the one that you want to choose the email that you set up for this actual account. So I set up Dave Gardner at $2 secrets or secret.com so I want people to see that that's the site that it's really coming from and they'll know it's from me okay the company name uh, doesn't really matter uh, the, the website is important to have in there just so again that everything's linked up so pretty quick and easy as far as setting up the campaign if you want again if you want to put a description that's okay it's not really important uh, the campaign. What I would do is make sure there's no spaces because there are certain softwares that you can tie it in and actually uh, attract leads that way. So we're going to add the campaign and what you have to do is you have to search. If this is your first one, it'll be the only one there. Uh, notice mine is down at the bottom. It actually puts them in the order that, in which you uh, actually get them uh, to go. So for example, Downforce Guitar I did. That was my first one that I did months ago. And you know, Everyone's been added after that. So a couple things you want to look at. I can click on it and I can go edit it. I can change what's in there. Uh, there's the information that's already there. If there's other materials, uh, I haven't played around this too much. Um, a shared campaign. Uh, again, that's if you're if you're working with someone else to pull the leads and to share the leads. I believe that's what that's for. I haven't used that too much, so try to stay away from that. Now, what we're looking for the next thing is the messages and the autoresponders. So what I want to do, I'm going to do a follow-up and I want to click on, notice it's down there at the bottom, the $2 secret, and notice there's nothing there, so we're going to create a message. And what I'm going to do is create a whole bunch of messages and the time here can basically tell you when it's going to go. What I want, the first one is to be zero. Uh, if you hear some noise in the background, I apologize. Uh, we're at home doing some work as the, the family's getting some stuff down too. So uh, basically the first one is zero. So as soon as they opt in, they're going to get that first message. So, you know, welcome to, you know, whatever your site is right there. So we're going to call it the $2 secret. And basically this is the email. Okay, welcome to $2 secret. And you can put whatever you want there. And once you're done, you actually have to copy it. So you can control A and then control C to copy it, control V to paste it. And then basically you're going to add it. And what you'll see is an actual, you'll see the actual subject come on. There's your first one. Okay, you can find out how many people had it bounced, if there was an issue where, uh, you know, you sent it and it, it basically they, they had blocked your email. Basically that's what we're talking about there. If you have something that sounds too overly promotional, you'll see a higher sp uh, spam score. So, you know, stick away from certain words uh, as best you can, like opportunity, business, free, things like that. Now, I can go back and I can edit it, I can test it, I can uh, insert a thank you, and I can delete it. So, for example, if we test it, it's going to email it to me. 
Okay, so notice there's my email again, barefootpainting at gmail.com, and it's going to go shortly. It may be there already. Uh, if we refresh our Gmail, okay, it may take a couple minutes, so not a big deal. We'll come back to that in a second. So what I want to do, if I add a follow-up, excuse me, if I click in and then add the follow-up, what I would do now is a day later is email two. So we can just say follow-up, and I'm going to change these all later. Follow-up for the $2 secret make sure you spell your stuff right and then hey there again and if you had uh, for example depending on the way you fill in and we'll, we're gonna go over these uh, in a little bit but if you fill in for example the subscriber full name or their first name you can uh, populate that easily but it all depends on what your form looks at so you know hey there again you know hope you enjoyed your secret and then blah 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 okay and then you can add anything in there if you got links to other stuff you know surprises uh, upgrades bonuses whatever um, the key is again you have to add it down here at the bottom because one's HTML on the top notice this is HTML HTML the other ones the text now notice if I try to go without it it gives me a warning okay you can't save the message without text and HTML okay it says my HTML code is incorrect because you know I didn't really put anything, but but once I follow it up there and I add it, notice it's going to take and it's going to go, and I'll see two messages in my file, but it'll tell you how many days apart there are. So if I wanted to do another one, you could send it for let's say I want the first two to go after a day. Okay, the first one would be the like instantly it's mailed. The second one would be after a day. You could set this up to ten days later or however many more, and you could keep going. Okay, but I just want to give you an example there. Let's check this again. No, nope, still not there. Okay, not a big deal. So that's basically the follow-up, and you would want to do a whole series. So, for example, if I switch to one of my other series, and we look at the follow-ups, you'll see that there's actually a, a, a whole uh, series of video, or, uh, excuse me, audios. Uh, some are audio, some are some have videos in them, but uh, basically, I got about 20 or so uh, autoresponder emails. They're going basically a day after each other. You can set them to have some gaps in between there. Or you know, if you want to uh, just send them all one after another, that works as well. What we want to look for next, though, is this broadcast button and the send broadcast. That's if I want to send an instant blast out there. You can check how many were sent, how many were opened, you know, how many clicks you got. If I want to do an instant broadcast, I could pick the list that I wanted to. Okay, let's say I wanted to do it to uh, my big list. I could type in the subject. You could change the date. Right now it's uh, April 11th. I can change that to whatever date I wanted. For example, I could put it the, the 20th. I could set it at a time. I could just say, hey, what's up? Learn how to spell, though. Okay, what's up? So add my message. Again, there's the same message. And when I click Add, what happens is it puts it into a queue and the queue basically just tells you that it's there and it's ready so you want to click the queue button notice it's it's ready to send it's basically in there and I can have a whole bunch ready to go uh, for weeks in advance now I would click this if I wanted to but I don't really want to have it in there <coughs> excuse me I can edit it I can test it and what I'm going to do for this one, I'm actually going to delete it. If you make a mistake before you go, it just doesn't automatically send it, which is good. It would be suggested that you test it. Then you can actually check your email links uh, to make sure that your links work accurately. I'm just going to delete this one. And it always checks a little safety there, so that's, that's good as well. But uh, just a little bit to show you what's going on for, for that. Uh, as far as the broadcast and the send broadcast. It's, it's a pretty neat uh, information, uh, you know, a little piece there to, to get your sites going. Uh, the opt-in message, you probably won't really need that unless you're going to do double opt-in, and we'll, we'll look at that in just a minute, but chances are you won't need that because we're going to go with a single opt-in to make it a lot easier. And for some reason, this is taking its sweet time to, uh, to scroll through. So I'm just going to click over here, see if I can speed up the process a little bit. Try not to make this video too long. Probably be one of the longer uh, one of the longer videos here. But again, this this is some important information. This is where people are really struggling. I'm just gonna see if I can get this going quicker and check this uh, quick again. So if I look at that 
Oops, if I look at the broadcast button, I just want to make sure that's gone. Yeah, so notice that's gone. It's not there anymore. That means it's, it's uh, removed. Now, the important thing here, the forms. What I want, again, I would go back, I would click the campaign that I have, and there shouldn't be any forms. I want to create a new form. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do it. I can either create a form or I can do a form wizard. So I'm going to create a new form, and I'm going to change this to $2 secret just like the campaign is, just so there's some consistency and I know it's there. Now, if I have, um, let's say I, I have a couple different domains, or excuse me, a couple different uh, places to put this, you can make as many campaigns as you want and basically figure out where they're all coming from. I'm just going to copy this just to show you that quick. If I go back to one of the other ones and I look at the form list for one of the other campaigns I have, notice I have multiple campaigns all for the same website and you see that some places you know for example I, you know, this is a solo ad I took place in uh, it all displayed on one place it basically directly directed in there is another solo ad I took place in um, you know I, I've, I've tracked them a little bit so I know where uh, some of the, the places are coming from this is the blog okay, a lot of people are checking it out it's showing up a lot of times but not too many people have signed up so uh, just to get you a couple different things that you can look at um, as far as testing and analytics go so we're going to go back. Oops, I'm going to go back to the one I was going to just form. We're going to create a new form, and again, I'm going to change the name. This number, or excuse me, uh, do the form name. I'm going to change this to Two Dollar Secret. What you want is the custom URL, and what that will do is we'll just basically send it. I'm basically going to send it to uh, back to the same page just to give you an idea. And what you'd want to do is maybe have the same site if this is your same thank you page you know this would be dot thanks you know backslash thanks dot html or, or some other code depending on where you want it to go maybe have it sent up to another person's website as, as you know a promotional product that way you know however you're working that's where people are going to get the report that you promised them when, when they opted in and this, the next part here is basically if someone has opted in and then they forgot about being on your site and they try to opt in again, you want to be able to send them you know, either back to the uh, thank you page or someplace else. And one of the important things we want to do is unclick this double opt-in because otherwise they'll have to verify their email, they'll have to check their email, then they'll have to click the link. And a lot of times people don't even get it because the email might go into spam. Uh, so your, your best bet is to keep it single opt-in so as soon as they opt in they they bam they go right to that site and they get that thank you page and more specifically maybe they get a one-time offer mm, okay so uh, in the report I mentioned a place to get some free one-time offer setups and I've actually had a, a few sales of them already so I, I think people are enjoying that what I would do uh, what, what we found out with, with some of the markers I've listened to the less you put on the better so if you click the more button Okay, what you'll originally see is this. It's already asking for full name and email. A lot of people don't like to give their name. Some people give you a fake email. You know, the, the least you can get uh, sometimes works the better. Less is more in this case. Notice how when you click the more button, it actually unchecks those boxes. You're automatically going to have the email, but if we create it, I can change this instead of being submit. Okay, get your, let's see, $2 secret here. And a little arrow. And what we'll see, we'll create it and it'll pop up and we can actually see what it is. So there's the name. It hasn't been displayed at all. It's a single opt in. That's what the S is for. And it'll tell you, you know, how often you're seeing it and what's the bounce rate. And what I want to do, I can edit it if I want to. I can look at it. I can preview. So notice these kind of hop up, they pop up when you actually scroll over them and hover over them. I can get the code. And then there's some other things that I haven't really used too much. But, uh, you know, if I want to delete it, that's fine. I haven't played too much with the Facebook button as far as the popover window but uh, the important one let's take a preview we'll see what it looks like okay so get your two dollar secret here you can make that code say whatever you want just by editing uh, the submit portion and what we want though is this part right here this this one that looks like a paper we want the code and we're gonna highlight the code okay we're gonna highlight it we're gonna right click we're gonna copy it we can close this out what we're gonna do we're gonna go into cPanel again so you might have to log back into your cPanel we're gonna go into the file manager and we are going to go back into that index.html we had looked at earlier and we're going to add our first opt-in code and again this is this is just quick and easy um, you know maybe the video is going to be 10 minutes or longer but again hopefully once you get the hang of it you'll be making opt-in uh, forms like it's uh, like it's your job so 
Uh, hopefully this will get going. My my uh, internet's scrolling a little bit slow right now, so I apologize for that. But it's for your benefit, and again, the easier it's going to be for you, the more successful you're going to be online. And and then again, you can kind of play with this and put these all over the place. So uh, I'm going to close that out and see if we can get this to go a little bit faster. As I tell my students, technology is great when it works. Uh, so you can see things are scrolling. All right, this one up to 4.15, here it is. Okay, Dave Gardner, from Dave Gardner. If I scroll over it, you'll see that it's from Dave Gardner at $2secret.com. And welcome to $2 Secret. So there's my first message again. So this is a test. I can figure out what's going on. I can unsubscribe. That's one of the main things here. So you always want to have this present. Uh, you can change the code or the words to that too as well so that someone can actually opt out of your list because you don't want to have people uh, blaming you for spam or anything. So uh, just to show you that, that that did work. It just took a while. All right, so my internet is not working. Let's try that again. My Gmail just worked. I don't know why this one's not working. So. See what's going on here. Well, we're up to seventeen minutes. Check that out. Okay, so this is a little bit longer. Than I expected. I might try to break this up into maybe you'll be watching this as a part one and part two, and maybe even part three. Seeing that uh, I also want to show you the the form wizard, which maybe I will while we're waiting here for that to scroll. So this is there. I already have a, the code copied. If we go to the form wizard, um, you can see GVO has a slew of forms that are already. The one thing to keep in mind is even though the graphics look great, in reality the pictures are all perfect squares. So if you had a black background, and what, what would happen is you, the whole thing would be black and then it would show up as a white square with this design in it. So that's one of the things to be wary of. Um, I don't know why that's not working. We'll, we'll come back to that. But uh, again, if I let's say I do a health and fitness one. Let's say my niche is in that. Um, I'm going to click on the one that I want and it's going to basically auto populate it. You can bring down whatever campaign you want. So there's my $2 secret. Again, I would go down to custom URL. URL. Otherwise, if it brings you just to a male or female, for example, watch what happens. Congratulations. You're almost done. You have just been sent an email with a confirmation link. Please visit your email now and click that link to activate your subscription. Thank you. And the problem is a lot of people don't go through that step. It's basically one of the things, especially if they have something like mobile media and if they're using their cell phones, they're not going to go log in their email at that point. So you really want to be able to send them and not have a double opt-in and send them right to a thank you page. So basically you'd be doing the same thing at this point, unclick the double opt-in, go from there. So uh, you would get your code and then basically you would submit that code. Uh, we're going to end this and I'm going to uh, play around with this and see why this isn't uh, working and we'll catch up with this right in a bit.